My name is Tom Tuck, Senate candidate for District 33 out of Bozeman, Montana, for the Montana Legislature. I have six topics that we'd like to go over today with you. Property rights, religious freedom, free enterprise, limited constitutional government, health care, and globalism. Nothing is more essential to freedom than the right to own property and to be able to control it or dispose of it as an individual would decide. One of the main purposes of any government is the protection of personal property rights. When the government at any level takes on the role as parent and tries to control or manage what a citizen can do with his or her property, that government is violating the very purpose of government. Nothing is more basic than that an individual own his own body. If the state can tell a person what they can and can't do with their own body, then the state is showing that it owns that individual and that he or she belongs to the government. An example of this would be Bloomberg in New York recently wanting to ban soft drinks or raw milk being mandated by the federal government as an illegal substance. Along with ownership comes responsibility and each individual must be prepared to accept the consequences of their own actions. Our nation was founded on the principles of religious freedom and tolerance. The idea that people of religious faith should be excluded from involvement in government and politics, or that religious ideals should be purged from public life would be anathema to our founding fathers. At the same time, using politics to force a religious perspective upon other citizens would be frowned upon by them as well. All people of the state of Montana should be actively involved in their government, not to force their beliefs upon anyone, but to encourage dialogue and freedom for each individual citizen. Small businesses are the backbone of our nation and of Montana, and it is the engine that drives the economy. Government at all levels should stay out of the way of business and not use its power to pick and choose winners or foster monopolies that unfairly compete with other companies. Our country was founded so the individual could have freedom. Free enterprise is the vehicle that offers each individual citizen an opportunity to be whatever he or she desires to be. Our nation's founders viewed government as a danger that needed to be controlled. That's why George Washington described the Constitution as a tool to bind the government and limit its authority over people and their liberties. Just as our nation has a constitution, so does the state of Montana. Its purpose is the same as the national constitution, to keep people free. In the year 1900, Montana had a population of around 500,000 people. If you would have gone to Helena that year, you would have found one state office building, the Capitol building. Now you go to Helena and there are dozens of state office buildings, yet our state population has only doubled in the last 112 years. Has the growth in government been brought about by people clamoring and demanding more services and larger state government? Or is it that the bureaucrats and the lobbyists and the politicians are enhancing their power by growing state government? We are at a crossroads both in our nation and in our state. The time is now to decide if we want government to continue to grow, or is it time to scale it back? I believe that the government that governs the least is the government that governs the best. One of the areas that the various states have regulated over the last hundred years is health care. Insurance companies and agents are supposed to operate under Montana state law and regulation. Over the last several decades, partly through the influence of the National Association of Insurance Commissioners, the NAIC, the states have been losing influence and control, and the politicians and bureaucrats have been taking their marching orders from the NAIC. In a sense, it's almost like having federal regulation, because all states are working from the same template. Montana has always been at a disadvantage due to its small state population, and now with the Health Care Reform Act of 2010, even more roadblocks are being placed between the patient and their doctors. It's time for Montana to reestablish its authority in the area of health care and work together with other states in the local region to develop the products and coverages that our citizens need. It is said that we now live in a global community and that Montana needs to integrate into a larger world system. 
I believe that Montana needs to ready itself to resist the massive change that will shortly be attempted to be shoved down our throats, not only by the federal government in Washington, D.C., but by the extranational organizations that are located in New York, Brussels, Geneva, and Vienna. We need to have representatives in the Montana House, Senate, and State Executive Branch that will stand for all the people of Montana that will stand to develop our vast resources of coal, oil, natural gas, silver, gold, and other minerals, and again make us the treasure state. There are forces that operate internationally that would have Montana agriculture and resource development be stopped permanently. Much of this is spelled out in the UN Agenda 21 program of so-called sustainable development which is nothing more than a worldwide program of destruction of the middle classes and of individual liberty and freedom. As the world and national economies continue to deteriorate, I will stand with the Montana people to grow our opportunities in energy resources and land development so that we can remain what we are meant to be, free and independent citizens in a free Montana. All Montanans, whether Republican, Democrat, Independent, want freedom. And the reason why I'm running as a candidate for Senate District 33 is I want to see personal liberty restored to the people of the state of Montana. It's under attack at every level, and things are not going well. The whole world is under stress. We've got to make a stand, and we've got to make a stand now for freedom and for liberty and for the state of Montana. Please vote for me on election day on November 6th.